Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are on the hunt for baby Bigfoot. Yes, I said that right, baby Bigfoot. My friend AJ, the big, the baby Bigfoot hunter. We've decided we are going to search different areas, so he's on his own little adventure, and. I've chosen a different path, but he's got to be out here somewhere. There's too many, too many, too much evidence. Feet prints. Baby Bigfoot poop. Yeah. And every time we go out in the woods, we hear, like, these... I, I can't even explain it. It just sounds like a baby Bigfoot crying. But I can't seem to catch it on, uh, I mean, on recording. The minute I turn my camera on, it stops. And the other night, it got... It was probably about 9.30, 10 o'clock. I'm talking about... It started up again outside behind my house. And I went out there. And sure enough, the minute I turned the camera on, it stops. And my camera died, so I couldn't get anything. Hopefully next time I'll be able to. But anyway, come on this adventure with me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like button, that notification bell, and share this video. Love ya. Let's get right into it. Y'all, look at this tree. Oh. This tree is really creepy and really old and that is a really deep ravine y'all baby bigfoot has got to be out here somewhere he's just got to be aj and i um split up he went his way looking and I'm searching my way and so far I've had no luck I did have a squirrel throw something at me but that tree is just so mesmerizing it's just I don't know what 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 about it what is about it? Can't talk. <laughs> it's awfully pretty, though. That moss all over it. And then when you go up this way, it looks like some dude's standing on his head. That's what it looks like to me, anyway. And let me get back to the Bigfoot hunt. Okay, guys. I just heard a huge crash or something like plowing through the woods over there and I don't believe it was deer or anything like that. It was way too big to be anything like that. So my guess is it is Baby Bigfoot. And my dumbass is going to go see what it is. Or at least try to. Let me go this way. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if I should. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm slipping and falling. See, I can't even get up the side of this thing. We're going to work it, though. We are going to get up here. Hey, bro, quit looking at the rocks and get your big butt up that hill. Oh, yeah. It came from over this way. Oh, the pretty yellow flowers. You see them? I don't know if you guys can see them or not. They're so pretty. You guys see the flowers? The yellow ones? I don't know what those flowers are called, but they're scattered everywhere. Oh, Lord. I'm desperately out of breath. Here, I'm going to set these bags down here. Because I'm close to home, ain't nobody going to take them. And we're going to go investigate. See what this crash was. It came from over this way, like out through here, but then now I'm hearing something over here. Who's out here? Do y'all see it? y'all see anything at all? And AJ keeps talking about the dog man. What the hell? That was that's a new one on me. He said it's not a werewolf. It's just a dog man. Well, I don't want to run across him at all. But I do want to go see what's up here. And it's just about dark. Well, getting close to it. Did y'all hear that? Please y'all comment below if you hear or see anything at all. Please don't let this big Sasquatch, baby Bigfoot, mama, daddy, anything come up behind me and get me. that yeah the more I look at this terrain guys the more I'm thinking that this definitely might be Indian grounds and it's been said that yes, this is, and that um, the state of Georgia has um, been notified about it, but why aren't they doing something to protect it? That tree over there, that looks like dead gallon baby Bigfoot. I don't know if I can zoom in good enough, but right over there, right, right there, y'all, in that tree. I can get closer, a little closer anyway. I'm not getting too close. Y'all see it? Guys, I, um, I know what I heard. And I've been around when deers come running through the woods. It didn't sound like that. 
Didn't sound like a growl. What the heck is this up here? Hold on, guys. This, whatever it is, is pink. And... Me looking at dang rocks again. Oh. What is this? Y'all see this? Y'all see this? It's like pink cellophane type stuff. But it's been here a minute because it's caked with dirt and pine straw and probably baby bird, baby bigfoot poop. See this tree? <clears throat> How it's caught on that one? You know, my face, my camera has that face recognition thing, and it's picking up um, faces. Like, there's nobody there, but it's coming up with something. People ask me all the time, why do I go in the woods by myself? Because I'm not afraid. I mean, I'm not dumb enough that I'm going to go right on up to baby Bigfoot or a bear or a hog or anything like that. Trust me, I'm going to see them before they see me. The only thing that I'm worried about are snakes. And them, that's just because they can camouflage. But I really don't think it's time for that yet. Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm -hmm. Baby Bigfoot! Where are you at? You're not down here. Nope. Not down here. You guys see how these, um, how the, um, how all of that is going like underneath right there I wonder if maybe a, oh, a family of pixies or something like that lives in there cause you know that will that old guy on YouTube, you know, over somewhere, Ireland, Scotland, somewhere, maybe even the UK, I, I'm not sure. Irwin something is his name. But he be chasing them pixies and them, and them, um, hobbits and the garden gnomes and all that. He even got shot in, shot with an arrow by one, and it apparently had a poison something on it. And he was just out in the woods, just high or drunk or something, cutting all his hair off. I mean, I, I never before in my life seen anything like that. But sure enough, he even had the little arrow. It was a little bitty thing. Just itty bitty. Like, like that big. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you believe in pixies and fairies and the elementals. 
of this world. I want to believe. Because it's fun. But I've never seen one. I've never seen anything remotely close to it. Except for on YouTube. You know, all them photoshopped videos and things where oh it's a pixie oh it's an alien now don't get me wrong I'm not some conspiracy nut well I kind of am but UFOs I have seen an unidentified flying object before can I say that it was from another planet or from outer space no I cannot but can I say that I can positively identify it as a airplane or a helicopter or a Goodyear blimp or a weather balloon? No, I cannot. I do know that it was a big red glowing light, like an egg shaped, and it was just hovering there one minute, and then zoom, it took off and it was gone. Like, I, didn't, I don't think I had time to blink and it was gone. But this is back when I was in California. And everybody thought I was crazy. And made fun of me. Until the next newspaper came out. And on the front page of our, that town's paper. You know, it, the headline was, over a hundred people sighted UFO. So I wasn't the only one who saw that. Which made me feel a whole lot better. And yes, everybody apologized for calling me crazy. Because I wasn't crazy. Maybe next time. Turn me all around here. Maybe next time I'll tell you about the um, swamp monster that I saw. Yeah. I don't know what it was. I don't think we'll ever know what it was. But that's a story for a whole nother video. Right now, nothing much has happened. I'm sorry that it hasn't been an exciting adrenaline rush. But it was peaceful. And I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Which was getting my chi back. And some peace and quiet and some serenity gives me a chance to think everybody should take a moment in their lives whether you're a husband or a father or a mother or a wife just because you're those things does not mean that you are limited to get out and explore the world and if there's something something or someone holding you back then I really feel bad for you because life is too short. Um, I, I spent 22 years miserable, Whew. but I'm free of that now, and I'm not about to be miserable anymore or unhappy or bored. So we are baby Bigfoot hunting or paranormal hunting or investigating it's what I love to do and it's what I'm going to continue to do and like I said before you don't have to like it you don't have to love it but just know that I like it and I love it and if you love me then you'll support it till next time peace out love ya Okay, guys, I just wanted to give a special shout out to four amazing people um, who support my channel and support my videos enthusiastically. And every time I go out baby Bigfoot hunting, they are gun ho. Bring us back the baby Bigfoot. So, a big shout out to Antoine, Bella, Layla, and Skinny. 
thank you for the love and support that you've given me and shown me. Thank you. Love. <laughs>